Hortel Service is at Embrace Hortel Technologies, now known as Blueprint Technologies today, for the visit of Terry Matthews. Since we um, pull these cameras, it's been a year and a half since we've uh, since the Blueprint companies had acquired Embrace Technologies and Cortel's business solutions and business systems, and it's just been uh, it's been an awesome year of changes. There's been a lot of a lot of new people that have come on board. There's been some people that have exited. There's been a lot of promotions that have went on, and it's just been uh, you know for me a very honoring. A uh, year and a half, and I'm really proud that, that we're all sitting here today. Um, one of the things that you know has happened over the past few weeks, I, I reunited with Jack Stoddard that I had worked with. Uh, geez, I guess it's over 30 years ago, and uh, you know we we had a drink up at Bryant Park, and and he picks up his phone and and makes a phone call and says, "Yeah, I, you know, I want to speak to somebody." And Terry was on the other end, and uh, and Terry, you know, I was just, this is Terry Matthews. And I'm like, really? So, so we started talking. He said, I'd love to come down and visit your company. I hear you guys are doing great things. And, and, and from then, it just happened. We, uh, you know, we, we, we started planning this, and Jack and I had met several times. And last night, uh, we actually had dinner with uh, Pete Maxson. Pete Maxson in the back is, is the president and CEO of, uh, of Wesley Clover. Uh, and I'll explain a little bit more about that. And we started talking about the industry. Because you know, guys of our age, you know, we've been we've been doing this for a long time. We started talking about, you know, since the beginning, and and since the beginning, you know, there was so many different things that happened. You know, telecom has grown so much, and there's been so many different applications and features and things that have come out during the last 30 years. And wh what I realized during our conversation is, you know, the internet is here today, and we just kind of figured out how to use it. You know. People didn't really have a lot of bandwidth years ago, so QoS was really important. Uh, applications weren't as rich, anywhere near as rich as they are today. And today, most of you have 15 megs sitting on your on your cable modem in your house or your BIOS or whatever you're using, and bandwidth is really plentiful. So what's happened is the industry has really changed. All these applications have came, come out. Virtualization is becoming huge, or is huge. Uh, Mitel's partnership with uh, VMware is very prevalent. And what I realized while we were talking about the business is that this is really the beginning. This is really the beginning of a whole new era yeah, of Terry, technology. I don't know if, if, any, if all of you know who Terry Matthews is, but he has uh, successfully started and grown 66 organizations. Uh, in 1960, that's close. Uh, well, 66, 66 plus, and I knew I was not going to do a good job. <laughs> well, 66 is close. <laughs> Jack, do you have a contact with employment agency? <laughs> In 1972, before Lord, uh, launching Newbridge, uh, he founded the Mitel Corporation. He's the founder of the Mitel Corporation. In 1986, uh, he developed the Newbridge, uh, Newbridge Systems. Uh, which became a worldwide leader in the data industry. Uh, it became a multi-billion dollar organization. Uh, he's chairman of Wesley Clover, uh, Wesley Clover, which is a host of companies. Most of the companies are under that umbrella. Uh, he serves on the, uh, on the board, on a number of boards uh, Wesley, of the Wesley Clover companies, and in addition to organizations that he doesn't own. In 1985, British Telecom purchased a controlling interest uh, of Mitel. And uh, since then, in 2001, uh, Terry had purchased Mitel Worldwide Communications Division and owns the name. So uh, he is the chairman of the board of Mitel. Uh, among his many accomplishments, he has multiple PhDs and engineering degrees and was even knighted by the Queen of England. Uh, he owns world-class world resorts and golf courses, and last year he even had an incredible accomplishment of the uh, hosting the Ryder Cup Open at the Kel Kelpa? Kel Celtic. Kelly Manor, yeah. at the Kelly Manor in Wales. 
Uh, it's obviously a busy schedule that Terry has, and he's found it of great importance to take out his time and fly down to New York to address us at Google. Uh, he's undisputably, to me, and certainly to many, the most successful entrepreneur, visionary, developer, and leader in our entire industry. And it's my pleasure and extreme honor to introduce to you Mr. Terry. startup companies, they say, I've got an idea for a new product, and I'm going to work very hard with my idea, with a group of people that I work with, and I'm going to come up with that one dollar a share stock options. Ten years later, every one dollar was worth two and a half million dollars. Uh, I mean, just think about the following Apple. This is the most valuable company on the planet that we're talking about. Ten years ago, Commerce Department had to ask Microsoft to give them cash to bail them out. That's not that long ago, as a matter of fact. And Jobs was out. And who did they have then? They had John Scott, right? From Pepsi came in because he was financially a very, very smart business guy. But frankly, like he wasn't doing that well. Jobs came back and up it came. So at different times for different people. Right now, these changes are actually very much in our favor. Every, every client is looking for something that they didn't have before. So go for it. I'd like to come back again in six months and just have a, a little back and forth. Just see what you're finding in New York. Because this is a great city. Yep. Best business city in New York. I mean, I have the, the sensibility of a piece of concrete. I'm going to ask anything. I, if it's personal, I'm probably going to answer it. But if it's business, I'm quite happy to talk about it. And I'm happy to come back. Thank you. Thank you.